Good morning students, welcome back to Shadda Math channel and this is the continuation class of the Mastery Binomial Theorem Sum of the Infinite Series, the last video of this model, exercise 6k. Okay, in this video, I will explain two sums and explain just now. I will tell you how many types of tokens are completed. Definitely, when I say good income from this model in the examination, in six videos, I will tell you एवरी वीडियो लो टू टू सम्स उन्टे एवरी इतने प्रैक्टिस चेस उन्टे रो वाल के पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन लो सेवेन मार्क्स उच्चे इस नट्टे मैथ्स टू ये पास ट्वेंटी एट मार्क्स लोनी ऑलरेडी यो ट्वेंटी सेवेन मार्क्स लोनी ऑलरेडी यू यू विल इजली एंड द सेवेन मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियोस ओके ओके लेट given that x is equal to this value so we have to find the value of the x square plus 4x this is the same model of the last video last video I explained this type of problems find the value of the 3x square plus 9x like that this is also the same processor what is the difference between the remaining problems and this problem when we have this x square 3x square like that in the given question then you have to Take the squaring on both sides to the last answer. Okay, so this is a given series. So first, take the simplification of the given series. Okay, see here, I am writing that this value is equal to two factor is nothing but one by three. One, one into two. Okay, one into two into writing this three as the one by three. Okay, plus this is five into seven by this is also three factor is nothing but one into two into three. Okay, into this value is equal to one by three square plus the next value. 5 into 7 into 9 by 4 factor is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and the next value is nothing but 1 by 3 q okay actually what is the processor first you have to um, check the values whether you have that same number of times we have the same number of times in the numerator and denominator but see here at the denominator you have the two terms but here you have the one term okay so for the reason i am applying the 3 here 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 and here I am writing this 3 as the 1 by 3 whole just simply applying the 3 3 at this at here and here at the numerator and denominator okay and you could 3 in pit kuni you could 1 by 3 whole square better than and the country you could go through you could go through you could apply just just I'm doing the 3 and 3 here to this fraction like that okay why we are applying the 3 number only once once check the difference here 9 7 difference 2 7 5 difference 2 for that reason 5 3 difference 2 we have to take the number such that all the terms have the same difference all the numbers have the same difference like that okay and here also this is 3 into 5 here we have we uh, we apply the number 3 only not 1 2 one sums are here 3 5 difference 2 5 7 difference two, like that so by checking the difference like that we have to apply the number so here i apply the number 3 means here 1 by 3 whole square becomes the 1 by 3 whole cube okay here i apply the 1 3 here 1 3 here equal of 3 and equal of 3 apply just that and what will be the next value 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 actually here i apply 1 3 i apply the same 3 here then it becomes 1 by 3 whole power 4 that's all there is a value okay now this is third value we have to add the first and second value how is the processor adding what is the first value of the series 1 plus what is the second value simply take the second value from this time here 3 by 1 1 by 3 that's all 3 by 1 1 by 3 on both sides adding these two values on both sides to this series okay to get the formula notation therefore 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 by 3 plus x is equal to adding the same value here also 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 by 3 plus 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 1 by 3 whole square plus 3 into 5 into 7 by 1 into 2 into 3 1 by 3 whole cube and so on so on okay so this is the formula notation now equation 1 now taking the comparison all the terms are, po all the terms are positive here so writing the formula as compared with 1 minus x power minus p by q is equal to 1 plus p by 1 into x by q plus p into p plus q by 1 into 2 into x by q whole square and so on so on okay now taking the comparison from equations 1 and 2 okay doing the comparison of third terms that is p is equals to same processor p is equal to 3 p plus q is equals to 5 x by q is equal to 1 by 3 substituting the p value 3 plus q is equal to 5 so the value of the q is equals to 2 now replacing the q value here so this x by 2 is equal to 1 by 3 so the value of the x is equal to 2 by 3 now substituting the two values in the equations from equations 1 and 2 okay first value 
equations 1 and h's value that is 1 plus 3 by 1 into 1 by 3 plus x is equals to 1 minus x power minus b by k. Now replacing the values. Here 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So this is 1 plus 1 plus x is equals to. Now replacing all values here. 1 minus x value 2 by 3 power minus 3 by 2. Okay. 1 plus 1. 2 plus x is equal to doing the LCM. 3 minus 2. That becomes 1 only. 1 by 3 power minus 3 by 2. Now taking the reverse fraction of this fraction. 2 plus x is equal to 3 power 3 by 2. Now squaring on both sides. Since we want the value of the x square plus 4x means when we want the value of the x square then automatically from the next step we have to take the squaring on both sides. This is 3 power 3 by 2 whole square. Now 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Now taking the expansion here. 4 plus x square plus 4x. Okay. A square plus b square plus 2ab. 3 cube is equal to 27. So the value of the x square plus 4x is equal to 27 minus 4. That is equal to 23. That's all. So the answer is x square plus 4x is equal to 23. Which is nothing but the liquid answer. Okay. Very easy question. Okay, so the next problem, the last question of the sum of the infinite series, e problem to what the all problems are the complete type in any. What is the value of the 7 by 5 into 1 plus 1 by 10 square plus 1 into 3 by 1 into 2 1 by 10 power 4 plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 into 1 by 10 power 6 and so on so on. Okay, what is the answer? So first to solve this question, I am taking that this series is equal to S here. Already we know that. But here I am taking that S is equal to only this part only. I don't take the 7 by 5, 7 by 5 value first. But first I leave this value just I am taking the remaining series only S. Okay, okay see here net s is equal to s is equal to first i leave this value and take the remaining value only as the s that is s is equal to 1 plus 1 by 10 square plus 1 into 3 by 1 into 2 1 by 10 power 4 plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 into 3 1 by 10 power 6 and so on so on. okay now this is equal to in the next step i am writing that this is I am writing this value as the 1 by 1 into 1 by 10 square. Okay. And this is 1 into 3 by 1 into 2. This is nothing but 1 by 10 square whole square. 10 power 4. 10 square whole square. And taking the next value as 1 into 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 into 3. 1 by 10 square whole cube. Understand all of you. To get the same value at all these places. Just I am converting these values as. 10 power 4 is 10 square whole square, 10 power 6 is 10 square whole cube. Now clearly you get the formula here. So equation 1, now doing the comparison. Compare with all times are posted here means we have to take the formula 1 minus x power minus p by q. That is equals to 1 plus p by 1 into x by q plus p into p plus q by 1 into 2 into x by q whole square. Okay. Now doing the comparison, comparing the third terms of the first equation, second equation. Okay, do the comparison. So P is equals to 1. Next, P plus Q is equals to 3. Next, X by Q is equals to 1 by 10 squared. Means P is equals to 1 means here 1 plus Q is equal to 3. So the value of the Q is equal to 2, 3 minus 1 x by 2 is equal to 10 square is equal to 100 so x is equal to 2 by 100 that is equal to 1 by 50 now substituting the two values in the formula equations 1 and 2 therefore from equations 1 and 2 taking the lhs values lhs value of the first equation is s only and this is formula that is s is equal to 1 minus x power minus p by q. Replacing the values that is s is equal to 1 minus 1 by 50 power minus p by q means minus 1 by 2. That is s is equal to 50 minus 1 by 50 power minus 1 by 2. That is s is equal to 50 minus 1. 49 by 50 power minus 1 by 2. That is s is equal to 50 by 49 power 50 by 49 power 1 by 2. Okay, just take the reverse of this fraction and 1 by 2. That is S is equal to root 50 by 49. That is S is equal to root 50 by root 49 is equal to 7. And that is S is equal to root 50 is equal to 5 root 2. Okay, root 50 is equal to root 25 into 2. 
what root 25 is equals to 5 that is equals to 5 root 2 5 root 2 by 7 so this is the value of the s but what's the given question given question is nothing but 7 by 5 into s that is 7 by 5 into s is equal to 7 by 5 into s value 5 root 2 by 7 and the quantum values that is 7 by 5 into s is equal to root 7 therefore 7 by 5 into what is s value at the starting we take the series is equal to s that is 1 plus 1 by 10 square into 1 by 10 square plus 1 into 3 by 1 into 2 into 1 by 10 power 4 plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 1 by 10 power 6 and so on so on is equals to root 2 that's all this is the answer okay understand all of you so all the sum of the infinite series problems are completed and if you practice all these problems okay